Hi friends, welcome back to the channel, Sidekar. In this video, I am going to do the speed test and the RAM management test comparison between the Realme GT Neo 2 vs IQ 7 device. So during this process, I did include the 5 heavy games, as you can clearly see friends. These are the 5 heavy games, Oswald 9 game, Badlands Mobile game, Call of Duty, FIFA Max and the Jensen Impact game as well. So I did include 5 uh, big games, so overall. So Free Fire game I did include because few of the users they want to uh, include this kind of game in this speed test. That's the reason I did include for the those kind of users. Let's see which phone can open these uh, games faster and which phone can actually have the better kind of RAM management. That's what I'm going to exactly demonstrate in this video. During this time, I'm not using any kind of game boosters or ultra game mode settings because if I try to use them, that will uh, definitely delete the background RAM management. That's the reason I'm not trying to use during this process of demonstration. So let's see friends which phone can actually uh, reboot first and uh, which phone can open these games faster and which can have the better kind of RAM management. So this plays a key role what is happening. These are kind of intense testing which I'm trying to do friends. So if your phone passes this kind of intense testing then uh, it should be good to go even for normal usage as well. That's the reason I always push the uh, limits of the pro phones. So right now the iQ7 did uh, restart it and here we go and even the realme GT Neo 2 as well and let's check the what is the Wi-Fi connectivity because I need to connect to the same kind of Wi-Fi connection. So both phones are connected to the same kind of Wi-Fi connection 2.4 GHz and 2.4 GHz and I'm trying to use the external rank capabilities in both phones. I can actually show you that as well uh, in the RAM option external rank capabilities in both phones I'm trying to use and even in the realme GT Neo 2 as well. You can clearly see I'm trying to use. And these are the five games which I did select and let's start opening one by one and let's see how much difference it's gonna make in terms of opening speeds between. So all the apps are completely clear from the background RAM management you can clearly see and both phones connected to the same kind of Wi-Fi network as well. So I'm trying to show you again for the last time again, as you can see clearly friends. Now let's start the test without wasting any time. Let's start with the first up game which is Asphalt 9 game 1, 2 and 3. So right now both phones did show the logo first, not bad in terms of the showing the logo and uh, we'll be able to see which phone starts first, let's see and this is going to be really interesting to see, first phone to start is so both phones Snapdragon 870 only, Realme GT Neo 2 and slightly little bit of more time took for the IQ sound device, you can see clearly just uh, maybe one second I think next is a battery ones mobile game, one two three Let's see this game, Battery Man's Mobile Game, which phone can actually open and how many games will be in the background RAM management. So these are the few things which will be really interesting topic and interesting comparison friends because RAM management is the one of the biggest drawback for the Realme GT Neo 2 which I can definitely say that in my previous experience and even I am getting a lot of comments as well regarding the Realme GT Neo 2. So right now the login, is uh, I, did, I think it got logged out exactly in the IQ uh, 7 device. Sometimes it gets logged out automatically friends so sorry for the kind of disturbance. So I'm not sure why it's getting logged out randomly even though I did log in before doing this kind of test but still. So right now you can see that slightly the IQ7 was able to open the battery once mobile game I think um, slightly faster in terms of loading speeds and the IQ7 is faster a little bit. So one one point for both phones in terms of the opening speeds let's use the call of duty. Let's see Call of Duty what happens with this game. So that's why I did include only heavy games in this kind of comparison between both phones so which makes a lot of sense to compare as well. And I hope all the games are completely up to date. Yes, I, I think yes, it's ex exactly up to date itself and it should not be any kind of issues and both phones did ask confirm. First did ask confirm in the iQOO 7 device then asked in the Realme GT Neo 2. And you can see the login page of its loading with the login pages. First phone to open is iQOO 7 device and next is a Realme GT Neo 2. So two points and one point. Next is a FIFA. So this is a FIFA Max game which I'm trying to open comparing both phones. So you can look at the speeds, how is the loading speeds going on. So slightly kind of faster in the iQOO 7 device. Tap to open I got a message and tap to open I got in the Realme GT Neo 2. And three points for the iQOO 7 device. So in terms of the opening speeds and let's move to the next game which is a final game, Genji Impact game. Let's see this game, which phone opens first and uh, here we go. The first phone to open I think maybe the iQOO sound device showed the logo first. And 
फर्स्ट आईको सेवन डेट शो द लोगो एंड लेट्स क्लिक एट सेम टाइम टैप टू बिगिन सो बोथ फोन्स आई डिट क्लिक एट सेम टाइम आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू सी विच इज लोडिंग बिकॉज बोथ आर कनेक्टेड टू सेम कैन वाइफ एंड नेटवर्क एंड विच फोन प्रोसेस द लोडिंग प्रोसेस स्लाइटली बेटर and tap to open both phones did ask let me try to tap at same time and let's see which phone enters into the world of uh, this change in impact game so let's see what's going to happen and this iqoo sound is pretty old phone this is a old phone that not the new phone this is a old phone which i'm trying to use for months i think close to uh, four to five months so from may i did buy i think um, unboxing video was on the may 19th first phone to open is the iqoo sound device as you can see friends clearly overall the iqoo sound was able to open faster than the realme gt neo 2 in uh, four games except in the asphalt 9 game the realme gt neo 2 did open now it's time to check the background ram management why not let's see how many games just only five games are there in the background nothing much huge different but let's say big games so the moment i include the genshin impact it's really intense kind of testing friends if i don't include this game that's kind of next level but Let's see how many games gonna be there in the background. Three games should not be any kind of issues. Three games in the most of the smartphones they'll definitely try to remain remain in the background. But let's see the background's mobile game fourth game, one, two, and three, and boom. So background's mobile game is not there as I said. So maybe I'm trying to use this phone for the past few months or not. But background's mobile game is not there in this iQOO Seven device at this moment. That's the reason I'm trying to show you each and every small details you should know in the background RAM management. I'm trying to open from here. So right now it's uh, this game got closed. Let's see what about the Asphalt 9 game, one, two, and three. Boom! So both phones did close the Asphalt 9 game as well. Not bad, as you can see clearly, friends. So overall, in terms of the speed test, the Ico 7 did open the games faster. In terms of the RAM management test, the Realme GT was able to keep the few games slightly in the background in the RAM management. So Asphalt 9 game is there, and the Badlands mobile game. I'm trying to open all the games again just to check. as a confirmation what is happening so i did click at the genshin impact but it's not opening it takes some time i think to open let's see this game is there or not in the background there's a complete black so oh, it's not there now i'm trying to check again in the iqoo sound device one more time all the games i'm trying to open one by one and genshin impact it's there So when I try to open the second time, it's there, and when I try to open the third time, it's not there. Now I'm trying to check multiple times. Yes. So multiple times, if I try to do the testing immediately, if I try to do the speed test instant, there is not much difference. If I try to wait for some time, then the games are getting close between both phones. Thank you friends thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more more updates and in case if you have any other queries let me know in the comment section below and uh, if you want me to compare with other phones let me know definitely i'll do my best to compare with other phones as well as soon as possible in my channel so thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates and uh, don't forget to check the playlist which i created for the realme gt neo 2 the playlist will give the complete idea whether to buy this phone or not only this can decide uh, what is happening with this device so make sure to watch the playlist and then decide whether to buy this phone or not Thank you for watching see in the next video and let's straight to more updates meanwhile signing off and bye